This is a fresh install of Ubuntu uh, 10.04. It's a long time version, so it's still supported now when I made this recording in February 2014. I'm going to install Linrod here with the uh, Forefront OSS sound system. And the usual way that I'm always installing and then I want to get the LeanRud source code So this is a small text file. That now my internet has... No, it's here. Good. Uh, type the file. So this is the command uh, to extract the source code from the repository. Copy, paste. And you see, I need the subversion program, so install it uh, with this command. Copy, paste. Yes. And and this now. So now we have subversion, so this command works. And I want to have this uh, directory saved, untouched, so I make a new one. Oh. And copy the source code into here. And there is a directory CMake. The code there is not complete yet, so I don't worry to copy it into here. So the first command when installing Linrod is configure. And we don't have NASM, so Debian Ubuntu install NASM copy and paste configure again and there are not enough packages on this system uh, so we need to install a screen and I can take the X11 screen because we are now running under X11. To get the command for that, uh, I do configure with help. Copy. Paste. And then we can see here Debian and Ubuntu. Install this. Copy and paste and 
And now we have a screen, but no sound system yet. And from this computer, I tend to install uh, the Forefront OSS. So I have to get it. And it's at the place called opensound.com. open sound system and uh, download Linux 2.6 uh, Deb let's take this one Uh, submit uh, save file okay it is a small file and here we can see how to do the installation Some installation notes. So we open a new terminal window. We want to install, we have to be root and uh, it is the, the OSS package is stored in the downloads here under the user. Here. And then dpkg i. It has to be a small i. It's not right to have it the big one. Uh, and the package. And now it's building all the sound models. And the purpose of having OSS is that maybe uh, one has a card that isn't well supported in Alsa. It could be better supported here. It's possible to try, but you need a 2.6 kernel. The OSS is not much up to, uh, maintained anymore as far as I know. And I stop here and come back when the list is complete. So we have to reboot and try to run sound on again. So now the system is rebooted and I try to run sound on as instructed. Oh, it's already fixed by some clever default. I don't know how that was done, but it was done automatically. So it's time to run the configure script. This is necessary because the script sets up uh, the various headers for Linux so the compilation will know that we have uh, open sound on this computer. So make the compilation. And this takes some time so I make a pause here. So we can start xlinrad. And user 
a newcomer and screen sizes as percent that's n and full width and not full height because we have panels on top and bottom of the screen go to the sound system setup that's u and a and sound card uh, we can say zero for the Intel card use it not as read write only for input 48 kilohertz and it pretends to have four channel that's not correct this has only two channels so I pretend I have a soft rock on it and say two channels um, and assume that there is no time error so I say zero here and soft rock uh, let's say I have a crystal on the soft rock so there is no control on frequency and disable the output because I don't want to go into any details D and here we are that's what the sound card delivers I press T and we see 48 kilohertz so we have something and I will go into setup details in another video